Hi everyone and welcome to this video tutorial of Enpro. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can size and design a building energy system with a PV and a heat pump. Let's dive into the tool um, and let's have a look how that works in Enpro. Um, so we can click on create new project and then we can select uh, the building as a project type. Uh, we can select a location um, to say which data, uh, which weather data we want to use uh, and then click on create new project. Um, we have two pages. The first page are the load profiles. So we define what uh, loads do we have in the building. Uh, we can define different usage zones. Uh, this could be like a residential zone, for example, um, where we define the demands. We can select from different building types or usage types in this case. Um, uh, depending on what we want to model in the building. Um, in this case, we have a supermarket and a residential building. I click on the supermarket and we'll reduce a little bit the cooling demand uh, so that it's not so dominant in the summer. I say save and close. And here on the bottom, we get the preliminary results. Um, so the heating and the cooling uh, demands of the building. Uh, we can uh, have a look at the annual profile. We can also download the profiles, of course, in hourly resolution. Um, so that's the, that's the first part, the load profiles. And then we go to the second part, the energy hub, where we define, okay, how do we cover the heating demands and the cooling demands of the building? And here we want to use a air source heat pump. Uh, we deactivate the geothermal uh, source, and then uh, use the heat pump for uh, covering the cooling loads and the uh, heating loads. Um, we will activate the PV. Um, and then I think we can directly, um, yeah, we will first have a look at the uh, COP of the air source heat pump. Um, so it's uh, in this setting, it's calculated with the Carnot formula, but we could also um, use product data. For example, we have a few predefined uh, air pump, air heat pumps here, uh, but we could also define our own heat pump if we want to. Let's go with the uh, Carnot formula. That's a straightforward approach. Uh, we can have a look at the profiles that are calculated based on our setting here. Um, so this is a COP profile for heating and for cooling. Uh, and then we can check if this is um, reasonable for our case. Um, let's click on OK. And then we can say uh, we can set the economic parameters, of course, like the electricity price and so on. Um, and then we hit uh, the button size technologies. That's the first calculation step where we get the optimal dimensioning of the system. So um, how much PV is, is a good solution? How much uh, air source heat pump do we need? What's the optimal capacity? Um, of course, in this case, the uh, air source heat pump is sized according to the maximum uh, heating and cooling load. Um, but the PV, for example, is not so easy to, uh, to um, dimension in a good way. So this is like a, a cost optimal system. Um, where we can use the PV electricity uh, for the heat pump, um, but it's not too large and it's not too small, so to say. Um, the second step is the um, system operation. We can simulate the system for an entire year with an hourly resolution and then see how the system is operated and um, yeah, what's the, what's the operation of it. This takes a few seconds uh, for the simulation. We can go um, to this drop down field here and say maybe we want to visualize the operation during uh, summer, for example, and then we see that most of uh, electricity for the A for the heat pump is coming from the uh, PV panels. Um, on the bottom, we can um, create uh, plots like the heat balance. Um, this is yeah, pretty straightforward in this case, all the heat load is covered by the uh, air source heat pump, but we could also um, visualize the electricity balance and then we see like uh, in the positive direction where is the electricity coming from, from the PV panel in red and from the grid in uh, light red. And um, on the negative axis, we see um, uh, how we cover the demands like air source heat pumps, the electricity demand, as well as the, um, as well as feed into the electricity grid. Um, we can click on summary, then we get the most important KPIs for our system. Uh, so how much electricity do we uh, import from the grid? How much do we generate with the PV panels? Uh, we have some graphs to visualize it. Um, here we see the electricity feed in. Um, 
And here we see also some other KPIs like self consumption rate um, as well as the self uh, sufficiency rate. Um, we can also have a look at the CO2 emissions. Um, so we see that uh, when we uh, import electricity from the grid, then we have some emissions connected to that. Um, and we um, could also have negative emissions for electricity feed in. Uh, what we also can do is like uh, download the time series as an Excel sheet. Uh, if you want to go into the details and have a uh, detailed analysis of the uh, operation, we can download all the profiles as Excel sheets. Um, on the bottom, we have the uh, button go to result page. Um, then we have some additional results, for example, the economic results. So here we see all the costs of the system, the investment for the PV, for example, as well as for the uh, air source heat pump, uh, the energy costs for the electricity import um, and some, some other cost shares. Uh, we have the cash flow table um, with all the data um, regarding the costs over the uh, complete uh, project time and the details about the costs here on the, in the bottom table. Um, on the main page here on summary and scenarios, we can also create a, a scenario. Uh, so if you want to compare the solution with PV and heat pump with, uh, with another different uh, system, we can um, click on scenario comparison and then click on duplicate current scenario. And um, then we um have here now uh, two scenarios um the first one is a pv um uh, air source heat pump scenario and the second one um is uh yeah is a duplicate of that and i will change it and say now um with um electric heater so we will uh, simulate the same again but now we will not only have the air source heat pump um, but i will also add an electric heater for example, for uh, covering the peak loads, then we may uh, or we can dimension the air source heat pump a little bit smaller. Um, I go down and then I click on size technologies and then we will see that the electric heater is uh, installed as well. Um, so yeah, the, um, the air source heat pump is uh, covering the base load more or less and the uh, electric heater is only used in a few hours of the year but it's covering then the peak load. Um, I click on simulate system operation to get the results for the hourly uh, simulation and the hourly operation of the system. Um, and then we will see that the electric heater is uh, covering yeah, a small part of the heat demand, but um, yeah, it basically helps to reduce the air source heat uh, pump capacity. Um, so if we go down to uh, go to result page, uh, then we uh, can click on scenario comparison. And uh, then we will find our um, the, the first scenario here as well. Um, I click on OK. And now we have two scenarios here. Um, so scenario one and scenario two is electric uh, heater. Uh, we, here we have the CO2 emissions on the X axis and on the Y axis the total annualized costs. Um, we can compare uh, both solutions. Um, there are a few graphs um, already displayed, but we can also have a look at the um, figures and, and compare the scenarios directly with each other. Same is uh, for the economic results. So if you want to compare both scenarios, uh, we can see here, for example, the costs of the electric heater scenario is much uh, lower than the um, only, only heat pump scenario. And because we have uh, lower investments here. All right, I hope that helped you a little bit to see uh, how you can um, dimension a PV heat pump uh, system for a building. Um, if you have any questions, please comment um, below the video and then we will answer or try to answer them um, or also make uh, some additional videos if uh, there are still some open uh, questions. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, see you next time.